The following program is hosted by immature, irreverent, obnoxious, and often disgusting young men. Listener discretion is advised. This time on New Clan, there he is. Shall we play again? Welcome to another episode of Nude Clan. I am your host, Caleb Craig. And this is Cameron. Caleb Schweiss. And Joseph de Gaulier. Yes, today we're finally going to be talking about Darksiders. Finally. Yeah. It was only a one week delay. It's true. Uh, it wasn't as bad as like the four weeks for uh, Les Guardian. I know. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine words. Big boy. Yeah, just wait Was until that? we have to do Tales of Zestiria. It's going to be a. Oh, yeah. The game I haven't even started yet. You haven't might, started that 40 no, hour game? No. We, uh, <clears throat> we might have to change things around. Do the movie. Uh, how, before, many, uh, oh, wow. how many weeks until, uh, until Tales of Zestiria? Two. Yeah. Technically. Have fun with that. 20 hours a week. Um, That's not going to happen. I'm yeah. platinuming 32. So, so if you haven't that. started, basically oh, it's a part-time man. job. If you do it uh, from now until then. I don't think it's going to. Dude, I got <laughs> uh, I honestly had time this week, and I just didn't take it. Uh, mm, try that was me. That was me with Dark <laughs> don't, don't, don't give me that shit. I was like, I want to start Dark Monday, and then Monday um, I ended up seeing a movie, and so I didn't do it. What movie did you? No, see? no, no, no. Wait, was it Monday? I saw a movie? No, no, no. Monday. I think I I saw my mom on Monday. That's why. And then and I then saw your mom too. But then Tuesday, <laughs> I had to hide. A, Tuesday went and saw Logan. Closet, yeah, what you got there? under the bed? Yeah. So Tuesday went and saw Logan with my friends, and then Wednesday I decided I have played by this point. I played maybe three hours of. Darksiders and then on Wednesday I played maybe like another couple hours before I stopped and then um, that's Thursday I played a couple hours before I stopped and then Friday yesterday I decided I needed a um, 10 hour straight run of Darksiders <laughs> 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 they get it done for today was it worth it worth it <laughs> well I think I think that I have certain issues with the game that we'll be talking about that have been compounded because I was doing nothing but that game well, for so long it was funny because the frustration just built and built and yeah built. Cam Cam like messaged me he's like I am um, at this part how, how far is that uh, it, it's like a 17 hour game I'm like uh that's like five hours in and it was like and it was like a few days ago so i was like mm, wow. cam cam i don't know if you're gonna do it oh no don't don't understand this the skill of staying up till three you gotta save from uh from online and he yeah and he just, just like no beat it. no 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 i got a guy from, from <laughs> online but i mean the, without the guide i would still be playing this game because some um actually you know for the some of the bullshit puzzles i was gonna tell caleb i hated the section with the beams redirecting oh, the beam but yeah. i did that all without the guide the beam. yeah I, that one was kind of annoying but i did not. that all without the guide and i hated doing it hated that whole part of the game in fact but you know we'll get there okay we will get there but first Besides Cameron, who's answered this thoroughly. Yeah. What is, Craig, what have you been playing this week? Um, Darksiders and Final Fantasy thirteen. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. Hitting that thirteen up, huh? Yeah. You got to finish it? Yeah. That's, you that's sure the plan that? this time. It's to uh, go through the backlog, it. right? Yeah. Why is that one, uh, like, so up early? I, I'm just... Um, because he's just, a fucking cash in our eyes if he doesn't finish it. Well, no, it's just because like I got to Grand Pulse last time and then just kind of stopped. And, That's what uh, most people do. Yeah, it? and I was like, <laughs> okay, well, I should just like fucking play this game again, and so I have been. So, and then I've been plowing through it, so I got like it's hot. Yeah, I got like twenty two <laughs> hours in it right now. You turn it so on. Real heroes it off. don't need plans. Oh boy, it's, I haven't used that fucker in a while. Yeah. <laughs> Puff of dust. Cameron, did you tell us all your gaming? Oh, no. So I played Darksiders, <laughs> played a little Battlefield, a little bit of Rainbow Six. Oh, yeah, a little bit. Um, Whatever. A little bit of that. And that's pretty much it. 
Oh, yeah. awesome. Awesome. Gra- uh, Schweiss, whatever um, your name is. <laughs> I I played mostly Final Fantasy 13 2. I did play a little bit of uh, Hangover Battlefield 1 on camera. <laughs> oh, no, you know what? We played Civ 5 last weekend also. Oh, yeah. It was fun. Yeah, yeah I, I did Civ as well. I forgot about that. It was good shit. You uh, like your culture victory, you piece of shit? Yeah, I did. It was very <laughs> fucking fast. I was like, yeah, this yeah. Is, culture this victory is, is awesome. I only had one city, so so you were, you were doing gods and kings, right? Because Cam Cam doesn't have Brave New World. I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The culture victory is a lot easier before Brave New That's World. That's the one you have to just get like a certain amount, and then you build the Utopia Project, right? Well, the Utopia Project, yeah. That's all you got to do. Yeah. The other, the new one is not as enjoyable. I remember seeing that, and I was like, the the new one is more like the science victory, where you got to get like pieces of art and then bring them to your like your main museum. Yeah. Um, yeah. Shit, maybe I didn't play the new one, and I think I played the uh, maybe one of the updates partway through because I remember you you could like influence other lands with your culture, and that was a big part of it because you like got culture by other people being like fawning over your culture. So, uh, like, yeah, you get more culture that way. Um, there's city states that are like culture focused, and if you're allies with them, they give you like half their culture. Oh, I, I remember it being like other nations and shit too. But it might have been an early expansion though. But uh, yeah, I won with culture. It was a lot. It was it was faster than science by a lot. I yeah, think. you just build faith and other stuff. And I remember you culture. I, I was science fucked with the religion that game. Oh really? Yeah, I had like I no I, I went <laughs> the, little... the patronage tree and the and the stuff helps out with. If you get to a certain um, point oh, without I did, discovering I did, I did it, piety. if yeah, you go to a certain point without discovering it, can you not found a pantheon? Uh, pantheon, whatever it's called. Pantheon. Yeah. Wait, what? So can you get to a point in the game where you don't found a religion at no, all? You, no, well, after, you, you, you found a religion after you get a certain amount of faith, but well, if you, you don't faith. build anything to get faith, then you won't. Yeah, because that, 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 that game, I did not, I did not get will, anything for faith. You will get faith because of other Stanima religions. Stanima so. of the well, yeah, if you get, if you get like great... <laughs> yeah, if you get converted to a religion, you'll start getting faith. Yeah, so like if Caleb's playing with you, then you're probably gonna get faith. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna convert <laughs> the shit out of your people. I but. remember there's this one ma- uh, this one uh, time we we're playing. I made a point of getting Caleb's religion out of my cities, and I just converted them all to my religion. Yeah, and then I converted more, and then you tried to get rid of them with your uh, what was it, the Inquisitors, which get rid of the, like, get the weakest religion, and then I didn't get, get, I, didn't get and I didn't get Inquisitors. I just got a prophet. <laughs> I just kept having him prophesy <laughs> at that city, and then pretty soon your religion was gone. Oh, well, I remember having you. That wipe was out him. your own religion or somebody. That was him. He did the Inquisitors. Yeah. Oh, uh, was it you? All those religious people just went away. <laughs> well, it was like the the weakest religion goes away in well, the city when Turkey? you use a you inquisitor. Or, uh, so. What was the nationality of uh, Cameron's people? I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to see if it probably Poland went along with anything. Getting chipped away. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. Like, what it was a little bit one. here, a little bit there. <laughs> Suddenly, you're uh, tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, all I played was Civ Five. That was it. And I looked at a lot of videos of Civ Six because I was like, should I buy it? But I'm like, what was the consensus? It's still sixty dollars, and it just. And I would wait money. till it's like a Civ Five has the complete edition. That it's was like, like it's two, be a long like, time from now, though. Yeah, but it'll be like five dollars on Steam yeah, in like, like fucking, a year. No, it's not going to be a year. Not for the complete. Yeah. They're going to have expansions coming out. For well, a the long complete. Time. Well, maybe. But still, like, we Civ can 5 it. is still amazing. We should just stick to Civ 5. Well, the problem is, is we have uh, that fucking Pixel Edge. He's always trying to get us on that Civ 6, but that's the one he bought. That's his own fault, though. We told the fucker we have Civ 5. All right, Pixel, if you buy a Civ 6, we'll play with you. How's that? <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Hold on now. Now we will. I think he's been burned. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly because I still haven't played a game again. Oh uh, yeah, you were well, going to do that fucking dude, challenge. The, he, what, what were you guys going to play? Civ uh, 5. He doesn't have Civ 5. Age of Empires 2. Okay, if he has Age of Empires 2, that's fine. Yeah. He didn't oh, he buy switched. Civ 5, though. He bought Civ Let's fucking 6. Let's make that six. go down. I mean, I mean Civ that's, that's, six? that's yeah. good. Yeah, that's... Whatever, you guys will go to sleep by the time he's able to get on. Uh, me and yeah, him are probably it? on the same schedule with my bullshit graveyard shifts here. No, oh, I'm going to be doing graveyards in soon. the old USA. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Like, when are you oh. going to start? When is that starting? Sunday night. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Still don't have a car? Oh yeah. Let's talk. It's about like that. a mile away from <laughs> my house. Yeah, he can, he can. He can okay. walk it. less long than you. He can walk the mile. Yeah. Oh, I totally ride my bike to work now. 
It's awesome. I get like 20 minutes of exercise every day. Caleb, you should get one of those lay down bikes. Like, <laughs> like, you're just laying on your back and you pedal. <laughs> That's weird. Ex girlfriend's father had one of those. Yeah, he's yeah. Asian, isn't he? He is. Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> knew it. You did know that. Yeah, you did. I knew one of them was Japanese. I didn't know which. Uh, anyway, that was. I was wasn't sleeping with her dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now I think you were. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, is anybody beaten? Again. There it is. I was gonna wait till you finish. Great. Yeah, I'll be Dark Siders. Dark Siders. Nice. Nice. At least you can say you beat it before you review it. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, Cameron? Dark Siders. Dark Siders. Man. Uh, once you turn it on, <laughs> you, once, well, you, once you turn it on, you can't turn it off. It's I don't like know what you, you're you, you flip about. the gay switch in your brain. The gay switch. Yeah. Okay, I've had to go over. This. It's not a gay voice. Okay, there's no such thing as a gay voice. It's, 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 uh, a his, voice does not make. When you were gay. doing it's his earlier. women voice, that yeah, he also, also uses <laughs> to Im, uh, to imitate <laughs> gay people. Uh, no, it's not all. It's not gay people. Okay, it's just people who talk like that, <laughs> who may also be gay. Yeah, but every Sometimes. time you're trying to imitate a gay person, you immediately use that voice. <laughs> Seriously. No, not every hey, time. Come Sometimes on. we do our crap voice. <laughs> no, fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> I, uh, no, it's not, it's not a gay voice necessarily. I didn't say it was. It just said it was a woman I'm voice that you, you also stop, use. Stop calling it the gay voice, man. I don't want any more fucking Twitter hate mail, okay? <laughs> it's not the gay voice. It's just uh, a voice. It's a, it's a know, voice. Some yeah, people yeah. talk like that. And, uh, and so I sometimes make fun of their voice. Okay. It's not, it's not anything else. It's nothing about gay people. It's nothing about women either. And it is the same voice. <laughs> if I make it fun of my mom for saying something stupid, it's in that voice too. It's like, Joseph, you got to just do this thing or else it's going to, yeah, it's, it's in the same thing. So it's it's an all around sort of go to yeah, us feminine voice. It sounds kind of like the one that Louis C.K. does for his effeminate what? voice. What <laughs> <laughs> is that? Is that like your inspiration? Is no, Louis C.K. No, man, I, I've been doing that voice since fucking middle school. I think Louis C.K.'s shitty comedy albums were out in middle school. So there you go. Shitty, you love Louis C.K. Old Louis C.K. is not as good. I as don't know, Louis man. C.K. There's some great shit out there. Uh, uh, we'll go through a timeline of Louis C.K. Me and you, and I'll show you. Because <laughs> like, do, like, I don't mean old as in five stuff. years ago. I mean old as in ten to fifteen. Okay, maybe that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, old five years ago is great. Old Louis C.K. <laughs> I think of like the the one where he's talking about his bank balance and like how he doesn't have no money. <laughs> And when someone wants to give him something for free, he can't take it because he has negative bank balance. Like, that was pretty old. And I laughed my ass off at that. He's like, I can't. If someone says, here, this is free, I can't take it because I don't have no money. I have less than nothing. That's that's old school, but perhaps not old enough. Uh, Schweiss, did you beat anything? No, fuck no. I, I'm, Nora, I'm not going to. Yeah, he's, he's been sticking to 13-2 yeah, apparently for that plat. Until it's done. Nor did I. For behold... Hog is as follows for the hosts in last place. Me, myself, and also I are tied for <clears throat> three games beaten this year. Uh, nice. The Schweiz is second to last with uh, four games beaten this year. Up tied for first place. Uh, the last three games being exactly the same together. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, Six games being both the Caleb Craig and the Cameron Wilson. So congratulations. Uh, uh, should we try a new segment now? Okay, well, real, real quick. A new okay. segment. All right. So Cameron, no. Cameron, had you met Caleb's sister's boyfriend before today? Um, I think I've seen him before, but I actually tried to meet him. No. Okay. Well, your impression was what again? He's an asshole or a douchebag. He's an asshole or a douchebag. Yeah. I, I, let's go with douche. 
Let's go with douche. I guess we yeah. have, asshole is more personality, well, but douche can be more than just yeah. personality. Yeah, definitely an asshole too. So, <laughs> so tell us douche. why yeah. you got the douche. All right. From Caleb's sister, and Caleb, of course, lives with his sister, and she has a really bad picker, is what you would call that. She, uh, she just picker? picked one hell of a douche <laughs> to date. Uh, okay, so he, so when I, I see him, you know, he walks over, he has the, uh, the, the, the fake diamond earrings, and he's got the, um, that douche kind of hairstyle where it's kind of fluffed up in the front. Something you might see more popular in the 90s or something like that. Then he has the, um, the, the like, the, you know, not quite a um, shadow going on. It's more more of, of just, you know, than stubble. Didn't just shave. a little bit more stubble. <laughs> so it looks really okay. ratty type, type right. thing going on. And he's wearing the basketball shorts. The uh, He's buying smalls when he should be buying a medium for his shirts. <laughs> And uh, and when he walks over, I'm like, oh, hey. And he just looks at me and then just walks on. <laughs> and send just He didn't say hello. So, he didn't acknowledge me. Massive douche. Just uh, why? There's like no reason to do that. I was yeah. in Caleb's room. Talked to Caleb. You know, you know, and, I said, and I said hello to this individual. And he did not acknowledge that, that I was even there. And then the reason why they're uh, shitting themselves is because Joe shit himself is what he did. So. <laughs> he can't hear anything, Cameron. <laughs> I know they can. Uh, just listening to your douche story, man. I didn't shit myself. I just let out. Yeah, he, he shit his pants out. is what he did. <laughs> just looking at Caleb Gray. <laughs> his reaction to my fart is uh, is uh, very uh, large. Jesus. Well, okay. No, it's mostly that Cam Cam brought it up and everything. Okay, so let me the the only time I've ever like really like seen him very much, he was fucking silent as the goddamn grave. That was one. And then he also when we went inside to their house or their apartment, he uh he kept his sunglasses on. So he was wearing sunglasses oh, yeah. inside. You know, you know who keeps sunglasses? Who wears sunglasses inside? Douche or people? Douche who- wears sunglasses inside. Yeah, go ahead. Or Cameron. people who have uh, severe indoor allergies and their eyes are it's super red. Fake light. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, y- yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, you're so, so. But but you brought him up. Super today, red, dry eyes. And I just want I want to build the ultimate douche. What could make Kira's boyfriend more well, douchey than he already is? So is this like a build a douche workshop? Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's the build a douche workshop. A build a douche workshop. Where you can find in most malls. Yeah. Uh, you, Fuck build not, a bear. Not this not is a the ultimate yeah. date night. Okay. I say we start from the feet up. Okay. The so what? Up. What is the most douchey of all footwear? Michael Jordan, Nikes, uh, mm. socks and sandals, Converse, no. Converse, socks and sandals, dude. Oh, Converse. I'd like it when people, like a skinny chick wears people Converse. that say they're comfortable. I'm a big fan. People I, that I, I say they're that. comfortable <laughs> because they have flippers for feet. They don't have any fucking arch. They're just fucking flat. I, I find I find them fucks. comfortable and light, and that's what? what I'm going for. So yeah, I think. I think sandals, just straight up sandals, just, just straight up sandals. Because like, your his her boyfriend is too young to be a douche. I mean, footwear or too young to to like wear the socks. Oh the no, no no no! What, what about, about Crocs? What about? I'm talking like flip no, Crocs flops is scum. sandals. Crocs is scum. What about That's those? Uh, I'm probably gonna get some hate for this. But what about what about those You're shoes? Right. No, what about those <laughs> shoes that have the toe toe oh, things yeah, on the, the toe yeah. shoes? Toe shoes? Oh yeah. Yes, <laughs> ultimate douche shoes. <laughs> To wait, 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 the, wait. The, the feet, the freaky fle- feet shoe thing. What, what about, what about I don't even know toe what shoes? Called. Toe shoes and sandals. Yeah, you can't. Yeah. Sandals? That's yeah. fucking over the top, that's, that's, too too much. Much. that's too much. That's too much. That's just fucking We gotta go realistic. We, that, we gotta go realistic. But yeah, so he's definitely yeah. got the feet shoes, the freaky feet shoes. Okay. okay. And then he talks about, you know, so I have to use them when I'm rock climbing and stuff like that. And it's like, you're fucking in the living room right now. You don't need to wear your fucking toe shoes. Well, if we're running, okay. but yeah. All right. That's what for. Okay. Up the calf. Is it more douchey to wear pants or shorts? Well, if he's always what wearing workout pants? shorts, it's, so it's the workout shorts is what it is. The Nike workout oh, shorts. Oh, but we gotta, we gotta bring him over the douche. Is Nike... D- 
workout shorts ultimate douche. What if about he's super them? baggy jeans that are not around your waist? Yeah, that's more douche. That are also ripped for no fucking reason. I, no, you bottom ripped. You I bottom think board ripped. shorts that are also like really low are more douchey than pants that are really low. So like they're shorts, but they're mostly. I they're, would also add that he's white. <laughs> So the low pants is not that cool and he looks ridiculous. So let's yeah. go with I think low shorts. Jake says uh khakis. Khakis? Like like low khakis. Like his ass is hanging out of his khaki yeah. shorts. Yeah. Okay. And he's got whitey we tighties got too cuz he's really just a fucking puss. <laughs> At the end of the day, he's a fucking child. Now, whitey so tighties. if he's wearing shorts, that means we get to look at his legs. Not a soccer player. But shaves his legs. Yeah. That's what I, yeah. Shaves his legs. Gotta yeah, do okay. that. You gotta shave your legs and not be, like, have a reason for it to just, be just ultimate Just to do douche. it? Yeah. So, I mean, now these are standards. These are white man in Utah standards here. So if your your area... Uh, your area's your area douche, douche, douche may be different may, from be our different douche. Our douche. Yeah, douche is... <laughs> for the, uh, for the un- unfortunate listener who we're describing perfectly, we're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we, we apologize um, well in advance, no, I but think you, you, I you think might be suffering from douche. T-shirt? <laughs> t-shirt with, like, a chick with big tits, mm, like a beer no, shirt. No, no. Like a beer shirt? Like with a chick with huge tits. What about a wife like beater. Dis- a disgusting. No, dude. Those gym wife beaters, the ones that are like, they have like that massive like three foot armpit thing with oh, yeah. a chick <laughs> with big tits on it. <laughs> that is also way too small for your yeah, body. Yeah, Either way too small, too small. Just like Kira's Either way yeah. too small or huge. Mm-hmm. Just absolutely huge. So like when they bend over, the shirt hangs off like a fucking blanket. <laughs> and it's like, what are you even wearing a fucking shirt for? <laughs> I hate that shit at the gym. Okay, like, well, it, I gotta wear a shirt, bro. It's like, yeah, but you're wearing a fucking shirt. I think shirt too tight. I mean, well, we might have to vote. Shirt too tight or Sleeveless shirt poncho. too big? Yes. Which one's poncho. more douchey? I think the too tight shirt okay. is, yeah, uh, is more douchey. Okay, so yes. his, his shirt is too tight. He's obviously trying to show something it's off. He's got yeah. a chick uh, with huge cans on it. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's good douche. Now, what kind of tattoos? Oh, that's good douche. He's definitely has oh, tattoos. Good so, douche. what kind of tattoos? Low does quality he have on his arm? tattoos with chicks with big cans. Chicks with big cans, yeah. like angels, like that. Yeah, like angels like with the massive stripper tits. angels. Yeah, and yeah. The, and the stripper devil. Yeah, yeah. Is there anything more douchey than that tattoo? I don't know. And then a tattoo of his face on his back. It's like <laughs> Stevo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, or or a tattoo of uh, his ex girlfriend's name. Yeah, yeah, but like kind of crossed out. Yeah, like he didn't get like, it removed, like they but tried just, to get rid of it, but he just crossed the fucker out instead. Okay, neck. So we've we've moved up. His neck, necklace, neck beard. Oh, definitely a necklace. Yeah, gold. He's got to have some fucking bling. So on what that we're just de- what we're describing so far is just a guy who was in in the nineties. <laughs> yeah, 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 fuck the nineties. <laughs> well, the tight shirt's not a nineties thing. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, what kind? Of, I think army dog tags, gold. All right, gold army, army dog, dog tags. tags. Oh, ultimate douche. So tasteless. Yeah. Ultimate douche. And okay. And a shark tooth. Especially if they've never oh, seen yeah. the shark tooth There's thing. There's two necklaces. Yeah. There's a shark tooth and the army, army dog, tags dog tags. Never served in the military. That yeah. is a douche. That's, yeah. He's got Most a Semper Fi yeah. sticker on his fucking car, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Putting that out there right <laughs> the, now. The car, the car is for later. <laughs> oh. Okay. Neck beard. I don't think there's a more. I think neck beard is more, hair. is more awkwardly social guy than, than a douche. I would say, uh,. Maybe just soul I'm thinking. Patch. I'm thinking like just like soul, the patch. Only soul patch or, or only, the five yeah, o'clock only shadow soul or just patch. the stubble, just the stubble too. No, you're right soul about patch the, the soul patch. Yeah. Only soul patch or like really thin facial hair, like where they like trimmed it down. Oh so no, it's like my like god, you're right. Thin, yeah, like, yeah, like, like little, outlines no, are fucking yeah. gone. <laughs> and then a bushy soul patch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so they just fucking like the pencil thin yeah, facial pencil hair, thin outline facial hair. That is ultimate douche. Yeah. That's like try to sleep with under. Chick douche. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, now, does he wear? He wears sunglasses inside. I of think, course, I don't think there's anything more douchey. Expensive than sunglasses. sunglasses, or just Oakleys, just uh, the fucking off the gas station shelf sunglasses. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, with the tag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, and then 
And then he has to have... And when he's not, he's also wearing those 3D glasses outside with the lenses popped off. <laughs> oh, my yeah, god, That's a different type of douche. Oh, but, you know, when he finally decides to take off the sunglasses... That's, that's like that's like the, the preppy douche that we should be describing okay. Well, it's that. still a douche. Yeah. So which yeah, one's but, ultimate? Yeah, what, yeah, we should have a the douche scummy off. Du- the scummy douche <laughs> or, oh, like, okay. the preppy douche? Right. <laughs> the douche off. <laughs> Here. And then following that, in his mouth, the vape... Oh. Yeah, the vape. <laughs> the vape. What does he talk about the most? Twice? The build. He talks yeah, he about talks his, about his fucking build. build all fucking day. <laughs> if you want to have a conversation, you got to start out with, what's your build? And then move into, hey, where's rent, you fuck? <laughs> you can't start with rent or it'll turtle up in his douche, his douche shell. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. And now, now, finally, the hair. Now, I personally think a faux hawk now, six years ago, wasn't bad, but a faux hawk now is douche. It's yeah. kind of out of style, uh, yeah. And I, I would also argue that the pompadour looks ridiculous and always has looked ridiculous. You mean mm. short on the sides, long on the top? Well, th- and then like, then like swooped in the front. What, what about like uh, spiked with frosted tips? Yeah. Uh, We're going back to the 90s. Okay, that's, that's like a 90s. Frosted that, tips that's... is... Super douche with steps on the side. Yeah, steps. <laughs> okay, that's pretty douche. Um, the real quest, like I think uh, someone brought up earlier, man bun. Yeah, <laughs> man, bun, man bun. Yes, but right. you know what? It doesn't matter because he has one of those fucking flat brimmed hats on. Oh, the, the, the the visor thing. Yeah, covering his fucking man bun. <laughs> What did you want to ask about the man bunch twice? I wanted to ask if it was the gayest haircut ever. Is it gay? Our new segment where we <laughs> discuss what is gay and we we have an expert weigh in at the end who is who is gay. Yeah, so the they'll, they'll know the end. Segments. So I don't think the man bun is that gay. I think that the man bun is like it's turning into a douche thing to do right now. It's a douche opinion. thing, yeah. I think it. I think it. Uh, I think it went past its cool mode for the twelve months that it was in, right? <laughs> and now it's in like now it's in douche phase. I don't think it's ever been gay though to have a man bun. Mm, I no. think it's always been kind of a. I don't know. I, I don't think it's gay. What do you think, Craig? I think it used to just to be a thing. I'm going to take cred thunder right now. You see, I mean, guys with long hair, if they were, you know, they was like a thing every now and then you'd find a guy with long hair. He may or may not pull it off. And then he'd just pull it up in a bun if he needed to do something. It right. wasn't like a thing. Right. And like, just like girls, they would put their hair up in a bun if they needed to go do something, the hair out of yeah. the way. That was a thing. But then it became a style thing. And then it became douche. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what its purpose is, so I can't really It's say. purpose it's to just, hold your long hair out of your face so you can do work. Not for you to dress up in a suit and go to, like, a meeting with your man bun hair all the yeah, way up here. You know, that's like I, having a mullet. I it's hate like to say it. It's like the equivalent of a mullet. But the tiny man bun is a billion times worse. Yeah, it's when, they, the when they're when they struggling when they're struggling to put their hair yeah, into a bun. Yeah, it's like I cut my hair, but I kind of want to be in style. No, no, so no, 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 It's the tr- It's the, <laughs> the trend chasers. On it, yeah, the, the trend to chasers, be alpha, alpha or something. They're like, oh crap! I'm I I, I didn't get into this trend oh, in time. I need to grow my hair out, and I'm trying to pull my hair up into a bun so I can be part of the trend. I I did find something more douchey though than the man bun. Yeah, the fucking rat tail. Oh yeah, I just remembered the rat tail. I remember a couple kids who yep. at school would have yep. it. Yeah, that's where the memory wait, wait, came what, from. What about the? Uh, For me, I thought like, well, you, do you like Star Wars that much? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little Padawan, little braid going yeah, down. Yeah, that's where I the, the the Padawan so, braid thing. So Schweiss thinks that the man bun is gay, right? Oh, fuck yeah, yeah. Schweiss thinks the man bun is gay. C- Craig, though, you know you uh, you have uh, consulted with our. Yeah, our I, gay I, friend. Yes, and uh, the experts say that yes, it is gay. Oh my god, Thank it's god. gay. <laughs> the man bun is gay. It's official. Yep. Wow. Congratulations. Glad we have that bun. one man to represent an entire <laughs> community. <laughs> yep. If you currently have a man bun, it's best now to cut it off. <laughs> Unless you're gay. Then yeah, it's cool. then, then keep if it because it's, it's, uh, cool. it's in. I mean, it's either if you're gay or if you're cool with being gay. 
<laughs> See, how, how about this? There's a, there's this guy at work that has started recently and he has shoulder length hair yeah. and he will pull it up into a kind of like at the back of the head type man bun and sometimes up higher. But the reason why he has such long hair is like every four years he gets it all buzzed off to donate and he starts it all over again. Yeah, that just sounds like an excuse not to you know, get a haircut. No, uh, you know what? And long the, hair is one hard of the to dudes, keep, I don't need that excuse control. not to get a haircut. I'm just really shitty at it. One you know? of the dudes at work did say apparently he's gay and he wants to fuck later. But look, yours isn't a man bun. <laughs> We're talking, I'm not talking man bun like I have really long hair. I need to hold it up because my fucking neck gets hot. That's fine. I'm talking the little, the little nip, the little fucking nibble <laughs> of little hair nipple. that they're like, <laughs> oh the yeah, the let's just get all the hair. hair in this area and just fucking twist it around and then little knot. It's a twat knot is what we all call it. The twat knot, yeah. That's what it is. It's not about the man bun. (laughs) It's the twat knot. (laughs) When we say man bun, we mean twat knot, I think. I think the tiny little fucking... So mm. you're, are you calling out a geekdom entertainment host? No, I'm not. I have seen many people with this haircut. Many he great gets, people, wonderful he gets, people. He gets laid <laughs> by <laughs> women a lot more than me or you do. Uh, uh, I don't know about that, uh, but uh, amounts of which. Anyway. Well, if we're talking quantity of women, sure. But, yeah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. That's the only thing eh. I'm talking about right now. <laughs> That's uh, so that's, maybe maybe the man bun is the secret shit. Twice. Well, he hasn't had it for very fucking long though. So <laughs> oh, okay, maybe yeah. No, I'm not calling anybody out necessarily. <laughs> I do I do hate it, and I did call it out the one day, but I just <laughs> I, I I didn't after that. I was like, eh, I'll just leave it be because he was kind of mad. He got a little a little salty. Yeah, about he was that. like he was like me. <laughs> I was like, geez, dude, I was just fucking with you. Like I I mean I hate it, but it, it's fine. <laughs> it's your head if you want to go around looking like you have a fucking price tag on. That's oh fine. My God. <laughs> I don't mind. I mean, yeah. fuck, who am I to judge? I fucking don't I, barely uh, have any hair left. Is there more? douchey haircut though <sighs> I, mean, I mean obviously I the mean there it's like the people fall on that the skullet that super European trend where you have <laughs> 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 yeah. straight out of Gucci I don't know G's I vibe. don't know if that's uh, if that like if you think douche when you see a skullet versus what the fuck is that <laughs> yeah or you think God get a haircut <laughs> spare us Let's see yeah uh, what is more douche? Okay, if you were to look at a person, what haircut immediately makes you think douche? Mullet. Mullet? Mullet. Okay. I don't know. Not Mullet's anymore. just kind of like grody. Mm-hmm. I don't think douche when I think of like a slimy person. I just think of like a scode. You know? <laughs> okay. Because everyone knows what the scode <laughs> means. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, it says should. it all. It does, yeah. But I don't think of, I don't think of douche when I think... Mullet, I, think I think there's a wide variety of douche haircuts. There is a wide variety of douche. I mean, you. I mean, you can just mix and match your douche. Yeah, the clearly yeah. bleached hair. Oh, yeah, that's pretty bad. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't that's think that's so. Good. I don't think that's quite as prevalent now as it was. Though. Yeah, I would say used to have blonde hair now has black hair. Maybe <laughs> more douche. Okay, what about used to have black hair now has blonde hair? Well, that's what Craig said. Yeah, clearly blonde. Clearly, well, yeah, not clearly be bleached. Yeah. yeah. Ah, for a, for a dude, it's weird. Yeah, it's very yeah. weird. Yeah. Okay. So, but he does have the wide brim hat over whatever. Yeah, yeah, like the whatever visor. Whatever haircut he has, he's got the visor thing that shouldn't really be a hat. It's, yeah, no, it's the it's, it's the, the skateboard over his head. What is like, it like five oh, like, fifty? Is that the the brand where it's like they they keep the oh oh and he has to keep the fucking sticker on the hat too. He's got to have the flat brimmed hat. The sun's in his eyes. He's like he's like trying to cover it, but he can't because it's flat and it's fucking <laughs> useless. And it's still got that gay ass fucking five fifty <laughs> sticker on it because you know it's a hat and we got to keep the fucking sticker on. I say a monster energy drink hat. Oh, I think that's, that's also flat brim. The energy brim has to flat. be flat. Yeah, it's, the brim the, does have to be flat. I'm, I'm pretty sure they make a energy but I think drink the monster, visors. I think the Monster Energy Drink hat is more douche than the than the name brand. <sighs> it could still be. I, I don't know. For me right now, a, a real douchebag is someone following the hipster trend with their beard and European haircuts and... And they're yeah, just these fat. Beard. It's just these fat. This this fat hipster uh, dudes uh, trying to follow this trend. I don't like it. 
I, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, we all have our prejudices, Cameron. <laughs> I hate it. I, I hate it, too. And um, I had, just so you know, I had my beard long before the trend made it the thing to do, so... Um, we all tried to have beards in high school, so... I, I, I didn't try. <laughs> Couldn't try. <laughs> <laughs> did you even shave in high school? Uh, yeah. Okay. I had to shave. I did. I had to do something. I shaved. There you go. It was like fuzz, though. I had, I had the, the chops came in real thick, so... I had one chop that was thicker than the other chop. <laughs> I still do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do you really? yeah. I do have like one patch underneath <clears throat> underneath my chin, sort of to the right hand side that just grows like half. I still long. want Schweiss because his facial hair is perfect for this because he has these gas right here. I want him to grow out the stash real long and then the, the pointy ass beard going straight down. <laughs> and I want him to wax forever. it. <laughs> and then I want him to wax it and I want him to grow his hair out again and just have it combed back and stuff. It, I think he could pull that look off. So <laughs> give him a little sword. <laughs> Fucking conquistador so, Schweiss. Yeah, go back to the conquistador. You can take yeah. solace in this that the that the man that's uh, banging your sister is not uh, the ultimate. Is not douche. the ultimate douche, but he is pretty high. Well, he there. has other tendencies that make him the ultimate douche that well, we didn't touch. You mean on. not not uh, on the surface? Are, are we douche. just going for like looks right now? Yeah, that's what we mean. Look wise, I guess he's not the ultimate douche, but he's got some issues that make him the ultimate douche. So he's probably uh-huh. the one of the biggest douchebags I've ever met. Okay, wow, dude, that's. And that's coming from Schweiss, who has to meet himself every morning. In the <laughs> yeah. So that's, let's let's keep that in mind. Yeah. Craig, where does as he I rank? look at Joe sleeping on my floor, <laughs> where, Cameron under my stairs. Yeah, where does he rank? <laughs> and paying you money for it, by the way. Douche would not pay you money. Uh, Douche wouldn't let you live here, regardless. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Anyway. So you like the money, though, Craig? Oh, well, obviously. On, on the douche scale, where does your sister's Shitty, shitty boyfriend, go. Uh, Scale of uh, one to ten, one being, I don't know, you, and ten being fucking, (laughs) oh, who's who's the biggest douchebag ever? Like, Ryan Seacrest? I don't know. Ryan Seacrest is not a douche. Ryan Seacrest is a bit of a douche. Um, the, the, what's that dude's name who uh, jacked up the price of that medication? Um, oh, sure, yeah, I know sure, 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 Something, his name, whatever. I don't remember. He's a douchebag. Yeah, he's a douche. Craig, of all the douches you've met, where does your sister's douche lie? Oh. <laughs> God. Why oh, would you <laughs> ask it like that? Oh, does, does, oh. Her, does her douche oh. stink? How he, 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 bad he, is her douche? Yeah. He launches that liquid all up in there to clean that shit out. Oh, God. I'm just getting this sausage <laughs> party. I'm just going to spit out his coffee. I'm just getting the sausage party it's, this thing it's in my wrong. head this whole time. It, oh, dude, I'm juiced up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> dude, it's so wrong because she looks just like Caleb to me. <laughs> And, like, I can't imagine. <laughs> anyway. Can't imagine fucking Caleb. Yeah. No, but it's, yeah. like, not Caleb, but it is. And I know it is in the back of my mind. <laughs> so you have to do it. because There was Caleb. a girl in <laughs> high school who was, like, everybody was, like, all over this girl. Erica Blankerson. If anybody remembers. Blankerson? I, I don't want to say her name. <laughs> um, anyway. I knew her father, and she looks just like her father, and so like ruined it for me. But, yeah, it was like, <laughs> she is a very attractive girl, but she looks just like her dad. So is her, so is her dad a very so effeminate her, dad? No, no, no. He's actually like her, but she looked so much like him. It was freaky. Yeah. So you just imagined her dad. So I just saw her dad every time I looked at her. I was like, I'm sorry. You just started picturing like, her you naked. Are, you're, acting like, you're acting like she was. Yeah, she's like, Joe, I want to hey, fuck you. Hey, I'm <laughs> sorry. You look like your dad. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I can't appreciate You're making this. it sound like it was even a thing that was possible. I can't. Uh, I'm sorry. I can't appreciate this right now. That, okay. That you're, 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 just, you're, so, you're saying sorry to yourself is what you're saying. Right yeah. Now. I mean, I didn't say it to her. I didn't say, Hey, you look like your dad. Everybody else thinks you're hot, but I know the truth. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say that to her. You're right. Yeah. Uh, that would have that would have been something to see. Yeah. Then you just walk up to her. I'm sorry. You you just look too much like your dad. I can't I can't chase that. I can't do this. Anyway, douche. Uh, and then we'll get to the game. I don't know, like a six or seven. So, whoa, who's a ten? Out of the people you've met, the Mark Sherpa. Out of the Chappelle people I've dude. met, I can't remember yeah. his name. I don't know. There was some. There, I've met some douchier people. 
but there's this one. He's, he's pretty up there. Yeah. <laughs> there's this. Uh, there's this one kid at school from Scotland, Nate uh, Blankerson. Oh yeah, that kid was a douche. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. Oh, dude, I've met a dude that's more of a the douche definition than... of douche. Yeah. So we described him in our ultimate douche. Kind of. Oh did, did he work out a lot? <laughs> no, but he had a lot of money. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh I, yeah. There's a few of those. Wait, yeah. Eric. Oh. Nate Nate Blakerson no. from Scotland. Nate. And he had he was popular, but even the kids who liked yeah, him. Yeah, and he brought like up him. that he was from Scotland like every two seconds. Yeah. And he I had a lot of I, money. I don't remember his face, but I remember a dude from Scotland who And he always like tried to play soccer. Yeah. Like even in school. And like kick a ball down the Blonde hallway. Hair. So he was a douche. Yeah, yeah. he was a douche. Okay. All right. okay. Well, let's uh take this douchey conversation along. <laughs> Uh, thank you for playing uh, our Is It Gay game. Thank you very much to our gay expert for uh, for giving us for the information. Giving us the information. Yeah. He did uh, He did say what was more gay, uh, giving it or taking it, uh, yeah. I believe. Yeah. And then it he said, the, this is the same expert. Job yeah. was what it was. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, we do have a question. Oh, oh yeah, we should probably do that, huh? Yeah. So <laughs> it's uh, titled, the Original Vision for the Show, dot, dot. From Loki Lionheart. I believe it was to discuss who was the ultimate douche. That was the ultimate vision, right? Uh, Yeah, but this is a question from a listener, not from from a Joe. Hey, been listening to the show for quite a while now, and I actually was wondering about some of the things I've read about what the show originally (laughs) was going to be about. I guess it might actually be for Ultima, but I'm not sure how involved the other guy was when he decided he didn't want to get involved at the last minute. I read Joe said douchebag we're going to have, oh, Joe and said douchebag are going to have a Zelda podcast. Now I'm curious as to why, since Joe is such a fan, why haven't you guys done anything with it as far as Zelda no one said Joe was such a fan, but yeah, the, Joe. I don't know where anyone would have gotten that. Well, information. we did talk about a Zelda podcast. That's about all, though. I love the series, and it, I would love to hear at least one nude clan discussion on the series or a playthrough or two. I think at least it should be played more than crap like Armored Core. Also, <laughs> my any my former so idea of oh you guys God. having a game you all verse each other on would be great too. Um. Yeah, so a lot of people apparently think that Ultima was initially going to be a Zelda show, and it wasn't. I, I don't know how that came across. I don't know. We don't care about Zelda like um, we care about Final Fantasy. Like it's, yeah. There was a point where we were thinking about starting a Zelda podcast. We did it twice. <laughs> so we had a pilot episode with Caleb Craig and our friend Dylan, who's been on this show a couple times. Yeah. And it was, it was, it was not great. It was just not very good, and yeah. so we didn't release it. And then me, Caleb, Schweiss, and Dylan all decided that we were going to start a Zelda podcast to kind of build up towards Nude Clan, like a separate Zelda podcast. And we've totally talked about this on the show before. Yeah, we have. In an episode past, but uh, things just didn't work out, so it just didn't happen. Uh, Yeah. I'm not like a huge Zelda guy, but I've always wanted to get into the series. I mean, I've enjoyed what I've played, and I always wanted an excuse to play more Zelda. Uh, and that was really what all that was. Right. Yeah. We just dropped the ball on getting the dungeons done. It was just yeah, that, too yeah, that first yeah, Zelda. That's the great. reason that it failed is because Joe and uh, Caleb did not complete the game, and so uh, yeah, and Dylan lost faith. That's all that happened. <laughs> So yeah, and uh, so he's not really a you know. douche. It, it's totally their fault. <laughs> yeah, kinda. I mean, well, not him not being on this show is his. Yeah. yeah was well, there was uh, there was scheduling which issues. We've like, there was, yeah, there was communication. We've stuff already that, uh, talked about all this. Yeah. Before. So yeah. <laughs> there was the Zelda was an afterthought to build up towards Nude Clan. And now that we have Nude Clan, we obviously don't have to fucking build up towards Nude Clan. It's just the show <laughs> yeah. that we have. I mean, if we want, we can Zelda, start playing we can Zelda. I mean, we we've can nominated it, it so yeah. fucking vote for nominated it. Nominated it a couple times. Yeah, yeah. Ocarina of Time's been in there. Yeah, um, definitely. So you know, just keep an eye out for it. We, I know we're all interested in playing at least some of them. I know yeah. I am, but. Yeah, I, the, the I, new I one's supposed to be good. <laughs> we don't have the same love for Zelda as we do for Final Fantasy, so I know there was a someone a while back that thought Ultima was going to be a Zelda show early on, and that was never the case. Like, yeah, I didn't. I Zelda. I the day Caleb Craig told me that Zelda was better than Final Fantasy it was the day that I <laughs> I was like, dude, here play Final Fantasy Seven. You're fucking wrong. You know, as a series, it's higher rated. Though. Fuck you. Wait. 
On Metacritic? Is yeah. that what you're talking about? Most of them oh, are in the... Everyone is just like... Most Zelda. of them are in the 90s. That's because it's still cool to suck Zelda's dong. It's true. <laughs> the and series, I not kind the chick. Of, and I kind of think... <laughs> <laughs> the chewed. Yeah. The chick dude. I, I think that is sort of what's lending um, to the all the positive reviews for the newest Zelda game. Ah, yeah. Is, uh, people just like suck it off because it's I'm a sure new it's Zelda a, game. I'm sure it's a great game, though. Like, I don't well, I'm that. sure it is. But, but it's but not like, cool to love Final Fantasy anymore, so it's like... Oh, I'll throw a shitty review in there because no one's going to ostracize me for it. But Zelda, since, I, you know, they I didn't have the, one on the last fucking console. I think the newest one is like 98. So. Yeah, it's getting very good reviews. Yeah. Um, not that I want to take away from that, but. You know, and uh, Dylan asked me if we were going to play it. And I was <laughs> like, well, you know, there's no way that we could. Like, I'm the only one who has the ability to play it and I can't buy new games. <laughs> so, uh, Unless it wins. Well, if it wins a review, you guys would have to buy a Switch or a Wii U in order to play the damn thing. Fuck that. So that would be like a uh, nearly $400 purchase either way. You know, the only reason I would get a Switch is just to play Skyrim again oh on the toilet. God. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> the one Zelda. thing we were like, the reason Zelda. to get the Switch is to play a game that, <laughs> fuck you, fuck that you. he's already bought six times already. Hey, I already own two copies of Skyrim, yeah. I own one. Yep. I haven't played. You it can't yet. play it on the Fuck toilet it. and your laptop instead. Uh, <laughs> I need actually, the Switch version. I could. Chris. You know what? Oh, okay, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> side note, but yeah, yeah. So that's the. What was the side? Note? I was about to say the side note, but I didn't side note it. <laughs> What? What, <laughs> what does that even put mean? The brakes on that shit. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, let's. Uh, what's this game called? Is it Dishonored? What is it? <laughs> Dark Star. Dark Side. Dishonored Dark is a game. It's just not the one <laughs> we're talking about. One. Let's talk about uh, Dark Siders. It's there, beneath the stench of this place. You can sense it. <laughs> there are things even you should fear, horsemen. Once you were strong, but now you are weak and you are alone. <laughs> I can relent in your every wish. Can Sorry, you what? restore the balance? <laughs> the destroyer knows of your coming. Even now, he moves his legions against you. Then I'll make this quick. Helgard, two arms! Slay him! Perhaps we can strike a deal. You won't like my terms. War. Are you here to play executioner? Dishonored. Got him. <laughs> Dark side. Dark side. Dark side. The other. Did you really game. get it confused again? <laughs> it's no. I'm fucking with you. Okay. All right. Uh, tell us about uh, Dark Siders. Okay. So there wasn't really uh, a whole lot of development history that I can give you. So I'll talk about uh, Vigil Games instead. So they are uh, a company that started out in uh, in Austin, Texas, and they um, their only two games that they actually made were Dark Siders and Dark Siders Two, and uh, they attempted to make like. Like a uh, a Warhammer uh, MMO, but they it, that was canceled, and uh, as a result of um, THQ closing down, they weren't bought out by anyone, so they ended up having to close. So they didn't make any more uh, Dark Siders, but now that uh, THQ got bought out by Nordic. They're planning on making and continuing the Darksiders games, which is why they uh, remastered the um, the second game and uh, um, the, the first Darksiders. So let me... Was Darksiders the one where it gets harder every time you die, or is that a... That's Dark Souls. That's yeah, that's Dark that's Souls. That's a real oh game? God, that's that's a whole other thing, Joe. Dark Darksiders, Dark Souls, Dark... Darkness. <laughs> uh, Dishonored. Dishonored. <laughs> It's just the three syllable D words. Oh my god. I'm having serious what? issues with. This guy voiced Red 13 in Advent Children, the guy who voiced War. Yeah, that guy has like a serious record of stuff that Wait, he's done. He voiced. The and worst he voiced voice Caius. I knew it. 
I fucking knew that was the same guy. He voices the bad guy in 13 too. Wait, he voiced the Red 13 and the bad guy? Yeah. And he voiced the war in this game, the main oh, voice actor for or the voice actor for war. I was so looking, he's the guy who says the stupid fucking stigma line. At the yeah, end but movie. he's awesome as Caius. Okay, fuck yeah. that movie. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, I have the stigma. Well, I think we already <laughs> talked about it in the in the last episode, but he also played one of the knights in For Honor. I believe there's another uh, voice actor who's well noted in this this game. Is that correct? Oh yeah, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Yeah, yeah. playing the Joker, right? Pretty much. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much the Joker <laughs> voice. Does he do that shit too? No, he doesn't really do the chuckle. No, yeah. he doesn't do the chuckle. No. Uh when did this game come out? It was like <laughs> Um I don't remember <laughs> actually. Was that early PS3, mid PS3? It was like a, it was mid PS3, okay. yeah. And then the uh, it was the second one that came out near the uh, closer to the end of the PS3, like a couple of years before. What made you want to play this? Was it your? It was your nomination, right? It was my nomination. Yeah, I, we had uh, we played. Uh, I, you know what? It, I played uh, God of War and I played uh, Devil May Cry again with Caleb. So I was like, you know what? This is like the third one of this type of game. So let's just do that one next. That's the holy trinity of uh, of what what type of game yeah. would you call that? It's like an action hack and slash. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say holy trinity oh, what would you rather have in the holy trinity i would just say god of war and the new dmc mm. that's not the, a trinity fuck the old uh fuck the old dmc fuck and, you <laughs> and fuck old Dark dmc Siders. gave birth to your and precious fuck Dark Siders. how about that huh? oh just because you're you're still salty over not getting the uh fucking trophy i had it on steam it was achievements Oh yeah, Bayonetta is another one. Yeah, Bayonetta is supposed to be great. Yeah, I played like half of that on the PS3. It's yeah. tremendous. <laughs> oh, it's right, so let's talk about the story. <laughs> All right. So uh, basically, the story of the game is that uh, you know you play as War, and uh, the apocalypse has started prematurely, and. Uh, he c- goes down to Earth and discovers that the angels and demons are fighting on uh, on Earth, and uh, he's alone and he doesn't know why because they he answered the call of the apocalypse and so um, he gets defeated by a demon and Straga yeah Straga and uh, then uh, he gets sent to the Chard Council who is like the the ruling party over like all the worlds because they have the the four horsemen as um, like their their hammer of justice um, they are the keepers of the balance. Yeah, and so basically they send war to discover like why the fuck um, they were the angels and demons were fighting and the started seventh the apocalypse seal wasn't early. broken. Yeah, um, and that's basically the story. Is this that he goes to find out what the fuck happened uh, and why the apocalypse was started early? <laughs> yeah, that's like literally it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw some cutscenes. I saw some cutscenes, and I don't want to shit on this game too much. <laughs> having not played it. Okay. Well, they well, were probably the worst directed cutscenes uh-huh. I've ever seen in a game. It was just like, we're going to have this really intense moment, but we're going to do it in a two shot in a really boring camera angle. <laughs> like it's an old game where they like couldn't move the camera. Like yeah, that's what it seemed like. To and me. then some guy in the back room being the voice actor, I can grant you. And the, and the voice wish. acting was really over the top, but the animation and the, and the visuals just didn't match it. Yeah. Uh, that was something that bugged me for the five minutes of judgment that I put um, upon this game. Uh, it sounds like Cameron watching a movie with you. It does sound like Cameron. <laughs> I'm saying for ten minutes. <laughs> movie stupid. Well, I didn't. <laughs> so I, the difference is that I didn't say it when he was playing it. Oh, okay. Uh, and the difference is he he doesn't care about the video game, but he does about the movie. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Movies are more. And important. it's not a French video game. So, <laughs> it's a French video game. It's not. It's an American video game. It is it correct? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's basically the story, spoiler free. So um, why spoiler free? Who gives a fuck? <laughs> I don't know. You always want to do spoiler free. I, I want to spoil shit. everything. I, I, so I and you guys are like, it's mm-hmm. good. Why? Uh, it's a fucking like nine year old game. It's true. It's, uh, it's pretty old. old so. <sighs> what did you guys think of the story? Story wise, it was interesting. I mean, there were certain things of the story. That, like you were talking about before, just certain 
elements in it that could have been better like the whole you're on a leash of the council like kind of like the setup for it but other than that i'm like one of the horsemen of the apocalypse taking out huge demons what what more do you want i like that part about it <laughs> yeah it's basically one of those stories like doom where it's there Fighting basically be like you're you're playing it's fucking war one of the horsemen of the apocalypse it's for the gameplay really okay yeah. all right well did it serve its purpose you think yeah uh, i think it did mm-hmm. yeah uh i'd give it an eight out of ten eight out of ten wow Wow, okay. 8 out of 10 from Caleb Craig. I'd give the, the story 7 out of 10. There's still some shady stuff with the council, why anything the council says even matters and stuff like that. But yeah. It fucking tells you that in the beginning. Like no, literally the first cutscene is like and then heaven and hell end. came to honor the council and its laws. And That's then why the, people listen. And then near That's the all end, you needed to know. And then near the end, they're like, well, they're going to absurp our power. So we need to do this. Absurp? Yeah. 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 You don't know that usurp okay, our power. <laughs> a pantheon. Dude, this is what happens yeah, when you listen to books. And then <laughs> fuck you, man. And then, and then of uh, course, I get stamina. I, I guess stamina. 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 I, stamina was right. I guess that would only see. That's the problem. Is when you mock it, you don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> uh, the other day, I, I was thinking about that. I told Joe that, that like, he's like eventually just gonna stay say uh, stamina, stamina wrong. Stamina. 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 <laughs> stamina. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Well, who knows? There will come a Look day when you Cameron don't know. is now just like, gonna, now he's going to say absurd wrong. <laughs> Ups, yeah. What an idiot says absurd wrong. <laughs> Usurp. <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason for well, that, that's a part of a scare. Anyways, him so. in order to become the heir to the throne. Yeah, <laughs> no one said that. <laughs> the hair, not yet. The hair, like which which hair? Like the bunny hair? H H E I R? I think the hair. H A R E, like the heir to the throne. Yeah, it's yeah. the rabbit. <laughs> yeah, the pet rabbit. Okay, all right. Uh, yeah. Okay, on to gameplay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, well, so that the, was a very short story discussion. So it was just yeah, fine. Yeah, it was. Okay. It was. There was nothing really. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's also like not terrible or All anything. Right. It's there. It does its job. Who know? was Satan? By the way, was that actually Satan? There was no, the no, it's, uh, there was no Satan. Yeah, no. Nope. Those are the council members, the ones that are like, and they were red and Satan-y looking. Oh no, that's oh. Uh, Samuel. Yeah, that's a bad guy. Sam, yeah, I was thinking Wheel of Time. He's an angel, the, by the way. Uh, oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, ironic design. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. Well, no, that one was a demon. Oh, Sam, Sam I yelled that, that dude. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah. that's a demon. A demon. You're thinking of Abaddon. Yeah, I was thinking of Abaddon. That's the end. <laughs> Abaddon's an angel. Okay, anyway. Yep, dude. <laughs> so the gameplay is basically a mix between uh, Devil May Cry, God of War, and Legend of Zelda. And it is in no way unique to its own self. <laughs> No, kind no. of no. <laughs> okay, uh, fuck no. Yeah, so you can clearly see like each little bit of those three games like in the gameplay. Uh, like there's chests where you can get health back, wrath back. Um, like in God of War, uh, climbing things is all God of War. Uh, the combat is very close to like the original Devil May Cry games, and you can even use items like in the original Devil May Cry games. Yeah. Um, there's like a, a free targeting thing that you can do that's very uh, Legend of Zelda ish as long as well as like puzzles that you have to solve are very Legend of Zelda. Um, just the like that's all. It's all um, a mix of those games. Like there's there's not really anything unique in the game. Like you can even uh, there's like a transformation thing like you can do in both Devil May Cry and God of War. There's just nothing really unique. You do all those game. things. Does it play like those games though? Like the Kinda, control yeah. scheme and all oh, that. Yeah. The control scheme is pretty much exactly like uh, Devil May Cry I would, for the combat. I would say for the boss fights, from what I remember and watching Cameron, like the one where you were fighting that guy on horseback, I was like, this looks like a Legend of Zelda boss fight to me. Yeah, the boss fights are very Legend of Zelda E2 because they have like um, they're very unique in the way that you take down the enemies like the first really big boss that you fight it's called Tiamat um, what you have to do is like you have to throw these uh, little bomb things like you would find in Legend of Zelda throw it onto the boss it attaches it and then you have to use the new weapon that you just got from the dungeon like you do in the Legend of Zelda throw it at like a torch thing and then throw it at the bomb so that it can 
uh, light and explode, and then she'll fall down, and then you gotta attack her. Yeah, Aww. yeah. So it's like stuff like that is very uh, like a combination between Legend of Zelda and just like Devil May Cry and God of War. Cameron, have you stuff. played any of the, those games that he's talking about? Yes, I have. Okay, mm-hmm. what, what's your opinion on? That? Um, it's exactly what it is. It's a, it's a it's a love child of three people. So. Well, it's the love child of uh, of God of War and Legend of Zelda with bits of its grandpappy uh, Devil May Cry in there. Yeah, the shitty parts of the Devil May Cry parts. Fuck the you. combat. Devil May Cry 1. That's what that Dark with that uh, With you. that fuck you, I'm assuming that Caleb Craig is a defender of this game. So despite the fact that it is... It plays like every other game. You no, he's it. he's saying fuck you to me, b- bitching about Devil May Cry. Oh, Devil May Cry oh, okay. Two is a fucking awful game, Caleb. That, that's truth. Yep. And Devil May Cry One is is okay. I like Devil it. May Cry One and Three are awesome. But that this is what that feels like, though. Doesn't it feel like DMC One when you're playing Darksiders? It's kind of clunky ish. It's got a little bit better camera not, angles. But yeah, it's, it's not as smooth as the like the as God as God of War or Devil May Cry Three. Um, but you can still pull off combos in God in uh, Devil May Cry One, and you can still do that in uh, yeah in in Darksiders. Yeah, and it doesn't it doesn't have the super fluid combat that god of war has i don't think so it's it's a lot more like the old dmc the yeah your genre. movements are a little slower and it's kind of making sense because you wield sometimes a really slow fucking <laughs> sword <laughs> sometimes you run in and then you just uh you know, start walking. so that's uh yeah it's gameplay stuff um where the horse mechanics are shit and you can't even walk from one place to the other you can't it just won't let you you'll have to pe- just like walking across the the ground your character will just start to hesitate and stop running all together and is this start- wander from shadow of the colossus horse mechanics it's kind of like a mix between that and then just like Legend of Zelda and also like every other shitty horse mechanic. Yeah. I don't know if anybody has really mastered the has horse. Has there mechanic. ever been a good horse mechanic? Oh man, Red Dead Redemption. Oh yeah, you know what? That one was pretty good. And I think Witcher Three is pretty yeah, good. Yeah, but too. you try to hit people from a horse That's, on that game. So you shoot people, but yeah. Yeah. You're not fucking happy. Yeah, as long as you're fucking just riding your horse and shooting at people, it's all fine. But the moment you have to, like, get your horse to go to one little spot and just stay you can, fucking you can still. shoot them with the gun no. in game. Yeah, the gun the that does, like, two damage. It's true. All the ranged weapons in this game are shit. Yeah, They're here's, really, here's, they, here's, they, this, they here's this awesome weapon that's supposed to be awesome, but now it's shit. It, it has purpose for like puzzles. Yeah, but that's it's a, it's basically a, it's a puzzle it. device. It's kind of is weird. What it is. Like it gives you new weapons, but they're mostly for like not combat. <laughs> it's it's kind of sad. All right. Well, you guys talked about puzzles in the game. I mean, what what do those look like? I haven't played Dark Siders for for quite a while, and I I don't remember anything too crazy. But I mean, are there any notable ones? Um, anything? Um, the biggest one would probably be the one that Cam Cam um, was talking about. I think outside the show with the the lasers that you have to like connect through with portals nonetheless a beam of energy you have oh yeah yeah when i got the fucking portal gun in this game i was like the <laughs> shit is this yeah that's yeah, when it's a portal, in portal like randomly i think i remember that i think i got so yeah so you part. so you get yeah. the portal gun and then you have to go free this angel out of prison and you need to direct beams of energy to the prison in order for him to use it to break out and you had to figure out how to use the portal gun to make the beam go from one location to another then use devices to reflect it make sure stone pieces were just right so the beam can flow through and then little hanging things you have to put weights on them to make sure everything was right in place and that's like the biggest puzzly section of the game yeah uh, there's like other ones where you can like uh where you have to like move statues into certain areas at and three in the morning so as they fall like, through the floor and stuff like that was not having fun doing that three in the morning three in the morning <laughs> is prime time for me prime time to yeah. be playing puzzle games why aren't you okay at three in the morning i don't understand uh, <laughs> Okay, what did you think about gameplay then? Did you like it? Did you not? Is it not original enough to be good? So, what's going on? So there are certain things that I don't like about the gameplay, which is you can't even fucking move across the level. I'm rating the game I played. I don't know if the non War Master edition yeah. was better. Yeah, PS4 port for Cameron. Keep that in mind. And so I like just like the simple task of walking, just walking. And you want your guy to start to to run a little bit. So he's doing his run the animation, and then he'll start to twitch this little thing as he's like catching the ground as he's walking. It'll, and then it'll it start. literally looks like he's skipping. Cam Cam showed me this, and it was. Like, 
he looked, lifted his leg and he like jumped a little bit. It was weird. It looked like he was skipping along and then all of a sudden he'd just be walking normal. And it then, was really weird. And then I have to then re keep, I keep, so my way to get around it is every five seconds I would re push the stick forward. So to stop him doing that. And so there is that horse mechanics are shit, but I love the fighting in the game. So my favorite weapon, of course, was the blade and then the gauntlets right afterwards. And you can chain back and forth between the two beautifully. And I love that. So for me, the gameplay, I'm going to give it a six. Oh, six out of ten. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Love it. So <laughs> I love the fighting. Everything else fucking sucks. Did you? How did you feel about the grappling? Like the? I only did it on the small guys. That's that's all you could do it on. Oh no, I mean like the grapple, the hook. Oh, like the grapple hook. Your, I, I thought that was annoying. How you have like two different grapples that go yeah. to different things. I was like, fuck this, man. They're just trying to make it bullshit. So there's the one grapple you grapple to it, and you just sit there, and the other grapple you can swing from. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah. what? <laughs> Why? Oh my god, man. It's like, alright, L2 square and then la- list lazily to the left for this one. I think one, L1 triangle list lazily to the right. I think the, the one item that made the gameplay that much more interesting is the mask where certain things wouldn't be there without the mask. And you put the mask on, you have to quickly switch the item that you need in order to get across it, and I like that part of it. Um, is it in any way connected to the movie, the mask? No. Thank oh. God. Honest question. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. No. Uh, um, yeah. So that's what I give it for gameplay. How I many love people the combat. Have even seen the mask a lot. That was a big hit. Certain aspects I of love the game that movie. Were, were terrible. It's terrible. So, but yeah. I love it. Yeah. Nah, what about for Son of the Mask? I've never seen Son of the it's Mask. Fucking terrible. I was told never to watch it if I appreciated the mask. <laughs> well, so. I don't think you should watch it anyway. <laughs> even if you hated the mask <laughs> and you're looking for a reason to hate Well, unless you're looking for a reason to hate it more, and then yes. I, I don't think I'd do it even then. Um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed the gameplay for uh, for Darksiders. Um, my copy of War Mastered Edition did freak the fuck out, so I had to go back to the PS3 version, which is a lot more solid. There is no um, glitching or anything in that one. Um, uh, I do like the puzzles in there. So it's this is very- a bad port? <laughs> Yeah, it, kind, it, of, it so kind of feels like that. For I mentioned my Twitch step thing, right? Where he'd be walking along and twitching and stuff. Yeah. And so every now and then you have to jump from one ledge to another. And when he does his Twitch step, when he's when I'm trying to jump off the ledge, it negates me pressing the jump button. I just fall. I just fall to my death. And I got really shitted off at one point because of it. So, yeah. Bad port. Yeah, <laughs> it's it, yeah, it's not the greatest port. If you're going to play it, I would highly the recommend worst, playing it on the port. Xbox 360 or even uh, the PS3. Nude the, uh, the Steam one is also fucked up a little bit. That's what Caleb played it on, and um, you got, got your trophies fucked up. Fucked up. I, uh, Jake said he had problems with the trophies in this game, too, so like, I think it's just the, the OG the PS3. PS3. Yeah, he doesn't have a PS4. He's a fucking... Well, I know, yeah. But I, I didn't have any problems with my uh, PS3 I would copy, get sucked so. into the level, like, inside rock and stuff and then there's this one time fighting the the main boss Caleb saw today where my horse got stuck between the fucking the I don't know if it's a thing if I could call it whatever it was the destroyer I got stuck between the destroyer and the side of the level and I just sat there I couldn't yeah. do anything yeah well, yeah there's some trophy problems but the gameplay doesn't uh, it doesn't have glitches in mine except for there were a few cutscenes that would glitch out and I would like kind of wouldn't notice but then I'd get in there and I'd be like yeah, that's Who's another thing that the like, War Mastered fun? Edition kept doing. It was uh, skipping cutscenes like crazy, and I, I, for the story, I had to not have it skip the cutscenes. Yeah, it's fucking. I, I, dude, I don't know what the fuck this game's problem is, but even my, even the PC one is, is it has issues. Like, yeah, it'll just I, skip scenes, and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing in this area? Yeah, I, yeah, it just like appeared somewhere. It's like I don't remember what I was doing here. Like, uh, it would skip something, and then all of a sudden, I'd be like on a fucking bird, like piloting it, and I was like. What the fuck am I doing here? <laughs> um, but yeah, like all the like Kim Kim said, the the horse mechanics can be kind of shit. But for like the one big fight that you use it, the the Stygian, um it was pretty good. It was fine because all uh, you're doing is riding away from it. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> the uh, worm fight thing, yeah, yeah, that the, was cool. The problem know. is like when the enemy is standing still and you're trying to like attack. I liked it, from it the horse because back. when the worm jumps out of the desert and it's this huge fucking thing and you zoom out like forever far away and then there's you and the worm's just this huge massive hulk in the background that part was a cool cinematic camera move that you didn't see but other than that yeah 
Um, <laughs> was it cool with purpose or was it just it was it just, just cool. it was establishing <laughs> was it, just cool? it was establishing the size of the creature in in comparison to the huge mm. environment in which it all was right, in all right, all right. yeah the uh the gameplay kind of suffers in some ways from like the the other weapons that you get like not being really weapons they're yeah. there for puzzle stuff yeah like you get uh you get like a chain that you could use for like grappling enemies but instead you just use the sword or the gauntlets because there's no fucking point like the, also you get like a blade thing which is only useful for like stopping enemies from like walking towards you like it does no damage even though it's like constantly spinning yeah, what them, i would like, use that for is enemies that take a lot to kill them and when they get into their attack then they just really own you so i'd throw the blade at them so they'd be stopped there getting hit by the blade and then just start pommeling them with my sword yeah and like it, it really the the side weapons like had no purpose outside of two puzzle weapons stuff, that you so will that have the most felt... fun with are, are the sword and the gauntlets those are the two yeah it, it, they just felt like they had to be there because of puzzles and uh, that's not great so it's just like legend of zelda yeah well yeah legend of zelda i mean you use the you tend to use the weapons that you get for like a fight or whatever in legend of zelda which sometimes you do in in dark siders but it wasn't all the time what do you give the gameplay out of 10 uh i would give it a seven seven out of ten Hey, Schweiss, did you beat this game? No, I never beat oh, it. Okay, I, right. got, I think you got, would you say like halfway last time? No, I'm further than halfway. I got, uh, I think I got like three quarters of the way through it. I passed the worm fight and I know, I think I remember the beam of light thing. I remember doing that shit, but that's the last thing I remember from this game. I started a new game and I was thinking about playing it along with you guys, but platinum calls so the that's, platinum for 13 too yeah that, that didn't happen at all I that like the uh, 40 hours estria that you gotta play yeah i'm a little backed up so. <laughs> a little backed up in a few ways yeah With that adkins <laughs> uh, cheese okay so story gameplay okay art design so the look of the game graphics for its time i think is how it should be judged but that's up to you uh what did you think about how this game looked well the war mastered edition graphics look just fine <laughs> <laughs> well even on the war mastered edition like you can still tell it was from a ps3 game like uh yeah. the art design is more it so like the person who f- uh, founded Vigil Games is like a comic di- a comic book um, artist, and it kind of feels like a comic book in a lot of the cutscenes mm-hmm. and the in the characters the way that they're designed. But um, the, there's still like stuff in the environment that makes you really see that it's like a it not as good as it could be. Buildings like the, were really bad. Yeah, buildings didn't look very good. Um, when you had to like climb up stuff, you could clearly see the sharp edge that was the edge. Like yeah. what they didn't yeah. try to like uh, make it better. It looked like a fucking square. Yeah, yeah. Yep. yeah it, like they didn't try to like uh, make it look better or like and in, do anything. Like with in it. God of War One, where if you're coming up on a cinematic thing or a chunk of pillar hit something you can see where the on the building it's gonna break and collapse yeah yeah it was kind of like that but yeah. not as bad but yeah it, it felt like high tier ps2 sometimes yeah yeah oh yeah uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it, it's um, probably not as good as it could be for being like around middle of. Well, now is near the beginning of uh, of um, PS3. It was in the probably a few years after it came out. So, but the but the characters and everything they look pretty good. Um, I can't complain about the characters. It's just the environment. Yeah, I was going to say like, that, the, the um, people you're fighting and everything else. They looked really good. It's the environment that suffered in this game. Yeah, the environment didn't. They just like looked like a a thing. What like, did you think about like the hellish landscape design thing? Because that's what it looked like to me. It looked like you were going through hell. Uh, no, you're on Earth after the apocalypse, and some places are like so corrupted. It's hell on and, Earth. Yeah, it's basically okay. hell on Earth. Although you do go to like heaven and stuff like that. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, it, like the uh, the environments just didn't look as good as they could have. Um, like there's stuff with like uh, where you go underwater, and the buildings just look like they do in uh, the uh, Armor Core <laughs> when you had played that. It, it was just like a square building. We don't and, say the name of that game anymore. <laughs> We, we've said it like three times already. The game that shall not be came out a uh, little over three years after PS3 released, by the way. Okay. Okay. So, so Resident like, Evil 5 like was exactly out. middle. Yeah. And just remember that when you're thinking of how good this game looks, 
The Needle 5. Well, it, the art style isn't trying to go for the more realistic stuff that uh, Resident Evil is, but... Uh, yeah, the, the environments are so, definitely the worst part. Of, yeah. Uh, yeah, especially in that beginning section. Like, whenever I start this game, I'm like, oh, God, this fucking city. Oh, yeah, like, like I was going through it. It felt like a PlayStation 2 Spider Man game in the buildings. Yeah, and just then the it's. Just the building like, quality. And then it's like, oh, okay, this isn't too bad. Just later. concrete boxes on top of concrete boxes is all it was. There was no anything to differentiate one building to yeah, another. Yeah, like all the rubble didn't look very good either. It looked like rubble you'd find in a, in a high tier PS2 game. Yeah, so, like the exactly. Environments are like high tier PS2, and then the like characters are like stylized. Right. So it's like it's. Eh. Yeah. What do you give it out of ten? Uh, out of ten, I'd probably give it a seven. Seven out of ten. Oh, it's it's doable, but not great. Yeah, yeah. The, it's mostly for the characters, and everything kind of like fits, I guess. Um, but yeah, mostly the characters are where it really character is and, good. So I'm yeah. gonna give it a seven out of ten as well. Okay, all right. Sound and music. Was sound effective and how was the music? Um, music was okay. It didn't really bother me. There's nothing really that was like super epic or anything. So um, nothing voice acting over the top. Yeah, most of the time was was over the top. What was right for this game or was it too much? I think it was right for this game. Okay, um, for most part, there's not much that you can do with like demons. That there is this one. There is this one demon. That, uh, that like was Mark just Hamill. really bad. And then the other demon that also sounds like yeah, Mark there's Hamill. there's one that's like Mark Hamill. Well, there's Hamill. only one that was Mark Hamill. And then there's one so. that's which, like, which was the one channel that was Mark your Hamill, inner Mark Hamill. Oh, yeah, the Watcher. But then, dude, there but was then, totally another dude then, that sounded like Mark Hamill on Vilgram, top of that. And then Vilgram, Vilgram, yeah. Vilgram the, the merchant demon, sounded a lot like him, too. It sounds like a guy trying to do a Mark do Hamill. Do we know? I don't know if Mark Hamill was Mark Hamill only did one voice. I only know the, the, the big the featured thing that he did was the Watcher, and that's like all they talked about. So I don't know. If, uh, he also that's did like Scooby Doo. <laughs> um, but yeah, the voice acting it, it was over top for over top. Yeah, over the top for like a reason. I feel like there's over oh, top. I don't know. It was it, a car, it was a comic booky type thing. Remember the scene where the demon snatches the heart away from him, and he's like holding it like. Like it's a precious little heart, and I have it now. And I think the voice acting kind of suits that. It's over the top acting, over the top uh, voice acting at the same time. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I think so too. Um, so it wasn't Mark Hamill. No, it was some guy named Phil Lamar. Okay, yeah. So I'm pretty sure uh, the only one he did definitely in that heard game that name was, before. Uh, was the Watcher. Anyway, so yeah, like the uh, I can't really fault the sound at all for anything. Okay. Um, the voice acting was pretty good for being like over the top, which it was kind of supposed to be. So, yeah. So I had a just, I, I'd give it. Like, I'd give it like a nine. It's yeah, uh, nine it does its job, but it's not like um, nine anything amazing. I'm gonna give it an eight. Eight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ten. Didn't like the voice acting by one point. Because <laughs> War was like whenever he talked, it he didn't. It wasn't too enthusiastic. I mean, I know he that's his character. He's just gonna you know, he's out for vengeance. But when he talked, it was just I don't know. Something was just missing. Did it sound it. like a guy on uh, a microphone? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, he didn't put any emotion into it at all. So yeah. except for like, he's, even he's, when like, he was he angry, he like, was when like he was a talking. Like he's he's a, he's a he's a he's a uh, he's War the the Horseman War out for vengeance, and he just sounds like he's mildly 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 inconvenienced by the song the yeah. whole thing so yeah, yeah i would say the voice acting for him versus the voice acting for caius it's like he's way better in final fantasy 13 too as the main bad guy well, he's probably game. given more of a character maybe it's easier yeah to get yeah into. probably yeah, I mean, he is a horseman yeah war doesn't have horseman, much of a character so. in this game i was like, gonna say yeah his, his, he doesn't have more. a huge character arc also how many times did you listen to the four horsemen the song <laughs> when you were playing this game. How many times were not, you reminded to go listen to that not song? Not at all. Because okay, yeah, I'm yeah, reminded every time the, the time. word horseman is brought up, I think <laughs> I think the song. Yeah, the best song on that first Metallica album. <laughs> uh, that's, I don't think so, but I think Five Fire with the Fire is better. Oh, wait, David. that's on the second album. Never mind. That was dumb. Yeah, but <laughs> uh, it no served Metallica its purpose. fan anymore. Also, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, fight fire with fire versus yeah, all the horsemen? stuff on Kill 'Em All. Yeah, the Four Horsemen is an epic fucking song. Okay, a, horse, a Horseman is a good. 
But let's talk about the game. It's a good. <laughs> is is a good. Yeah. Yeah. Would this game have benefited in the sound department mm-hmm. if it had the Metallica song? Yeah. Or the Megadeth song. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Or the, or the same song. Or, da- or Dave Mustaine taking Gears the song of War, back and lesser. Gears of War, Four Horsemen, all sorts of stuff like that would have made it epic. I, th- I think, <laughs> yeah, if it had more of a soundtrack that was like Doom... <laughs> then it would uh, it would it would have oh, yeah. it would have yeah. <laughs> highly benefited. Yeah, if, roller if coaster tycoon the, with Doom soundtrack. Well, you were mostly, <laughs> you're mostly if it would have had the greatest soundtrack of all time. It would have been better. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're mostly fighting <laughs> demons and Fuck stuff, it. and it was just like a, a kind of not super amazing soundtrack yeah. it's it was just there i really right? fucking want to play doom 2016 again <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I, you know i've been thinking about that I too fucking, we're like, turning the, let's stop the episode we're all gonna yeah. go play doom 2016 <laughs> except we can't play it together because an ass hat got on the computer where everyone else has it on the playstation i don't want to play multiplayer anyway okay <laughs> <laughs> speaking of multiplayer is there a multiplayer no mode? no okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> then uh how likely are you to replay the campaign replayability bitches well the pretty much the only reason to say it's you just threw the bitches in there <laughs> i had to have some syllables after <laughs> in order to really end to end what i was trying to say go ahead okay uh so pretty much the only reason that i uh wanted to replay it was because of the war mastered edition and that didn't exactly work out so i had to play it on ps3 so it, it's uh, the replayability for me isn't going to be super high because, like, uh, once you beat the story, there's not much there. Right. Um, I was going to say, I'm going to look, look through my trophies and see how close I am to a platinum this playthrough, and that'll decide whether or not how likely I am to replay it. But Yeah, so basically the only replayability pull is for, like, the, uh, the trophies, because it doesn't have anything like God of War, where there's, like, if you uh, beat the game, you unlock a skin that you can do, like, more stuff with, and, like, alters <laughs> the game. Play. Yeah, to like yeah, like Tycoonicus, like other the the potato skin yeah, and Kratos stuff. Kratos in a suit swinging around uh fucking briefcases. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And the Down. the cod of war. <laughs> yeah, he's like, a the, fish. The fish. With the yeah. yeah. <laughs> that shit. Uh like that that stuff is like awesome and it like alters the gameplay in the in the ways that uh would be fun to try to do um higher difficulties, you know. Um even like the challenges of the gods, there's nothing like that in the in this game. Uh, even Devil May Cry has like alternate game stuff that you can do, uh, but there's no there's no pull to come back to uh, to Dark Siders. No outside. thirty Maybe second mission at, like in DMC one. No, there's just there's just nothing really there. Thirty second mission. Yeah, it's like chapter seventeen. It takes twenty. 30 seconds to finish and i'm like oh cameron your only likelihood of replaying this game is if there's platinum yeah that's an easy well, one if i'm close to it yeah. yeah okay all right what do you guys give replayability out of 10 subjectively probably a three because i did replay it <laughs> i'm gonna give it a four and then one thing i'll have to say about this game i you know even though it was frustrating at times, I enjoyed playing it. It's it's definitely worth a play, especially if you get it on the PlayStation um, PlayStation Three version. But the end cut scene, I'm told now that the Dark Siders Two kind of ignored it. But the end cut scene where you see, I'm not, I don't, not, I don't know if I'm spoiling it, but where you see the three other horsemen fall down from the sky, I thought that was pretty badass, and it made me want to play the next game. Yeah, which is funny because like the. Uh the Darksiders 2 kind of retcons that ending because it takes place like during Darksiders, which is weird. So he was summoned already. Well, like, no, he goes to like a different place and he's trying to clear War's name. Yeah, but, but he got summoned, but how? Yeah, by the way, well, the guy he, who voices the Volgrim, he's in like a billion different things. Oh, yeah? Um, yeah, he plays Vamp in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2. He's, uh,. Redis and Final Fantasy twelve, bald guy with the chops. Nice. His he nice. he's fucking god, dude. There's like uh, these fucking voice actors have like a billion things. He's Samurai Jack. He's Samurai Jack. Yeah. Wow. That's uh, that's fucking what? awesome. He's trying to get his fucking blocked. Huh? I'm sorry. We're talking about horsemen, Stop right? Stop it. We don't. We don't. We don't need it. <laughs> I need it right now. <laughs> then I, would, I would only play that song if I were playing this game. All right, so what's the score? <sighs> Do you guys recommend this game? 
I think that it's kind of a fun playthrough at least once. Uh, just because, like, if you're a fan of God of War and Legend of Zelda, I would definitely just, you know, give it a try. But I, if I, you're going to play it, play it on PS3 or Xbox 360. Pull up the War Mastered Edition. I have it up. Okay. It's basically the same. Cameron. Um, I even, yeah, like, it, there's some stupid things in this game, but even so, I still had fun when things were working right. Okay. So I do suggest playing this game. All right. The Nude Clan score is added up as follows. Story, Caleb gave it an 8. Cameron gave it a 7. Gameplay, Caleb gave it a 7. Cameron gave it a 6. Art design, they both gave it 7s. Sound and music, Caleb gave it a 9. Cameron gave it an 8. Playability, Caleb gave it a 3. And Cameron, the only score that is higher uh, than Caleb's score, <laughs> gave it a 4. Uh, the total <laughs> score being 66 out of 100. Oh, wow. That's pretty low for games for us. Like Official new clan score. Usually pretty up there. So Darksiders on PlayStation 3 has an 82 out of 100. So On Metacritic? Yes, on Metacritic. And an 81 out of 100 for the War Mastered Edition on PlayStation 4. Okay. All right. So the glitches are a problem. Yeah, the yeah. glitches definitely were a problem for uh, the War Mastered Edition. Um, a very minor one point out of 100 problem. <laughs> yeah, its biggest problem is definitely the replayability. Uh, it would have been a higher score if there was something extra to do in the game. Or but if it were just better, like gameplay-wise, like God of War. Uh, I, you know how many times I played God of War? A lot. <laughs> yeah, like five I times. I think there's so extra stuff to do with God w- of War. With the combat in God of War, like how diverse can you make the combat? More than Darksiders. Because in Darksiders, I, I'm going back and forth between different weapons as I'm fighting back and forth. Like, can you do that? Yeah, you can switch weapons. But like in like one attack combo, is you don't have to stop and switch weapons out. Um, I think God of War 2 does that. Because you I can, can... You can use spells and stuff in God of War 2 as well. Yeah. I can, you know, well, you have your Chaos Blade or your... Well, no, Blade it's like an AoE spell is what you can launch. You can, like, launch... Right, and that's what, that's and what then, Chaos... Uh, the um, Sorry, the Blade Geyser then does. It's a uh, area effect yeah, the Wrath thing. Powers. Oh, okay. But, uh, see, because in, in the, this game, you can just combo and combo and combo. You can uh, launch them up in the air, slam them back to the ground, launch them back in the air, and then launch them away from you, and then sprint over like uh, dash to them and continue to launch it's really really fun <laughs> okay yeah that's uh that's something that's common in the uh the games like uh, god of war and Devil my cry and bayonetta like all the and darksiders like his combos like yeah uh, that's really what they want you to do for the yeah fighting. and i mean this one does do that well i just i still feel like the combat is kind of clunky in it like when i played it i I enjoy it, and I enjoy the little arenas that you do to get, like, uh, fragments and upgrades, extra orbs when you find those little areas where you can, like, do the challenges. But I was never... It was never as impressive to me as, as playing God of War or even DMC, the the remake. That thing's combat is, like, insanely... It's fluid. some of the best combat like for an action hack and slash I've ever played. Yeah, so I, Cry. I don't know. I do need to play this Darksiders, though. I, it's in my backlog, and I bought it for... Less than a dollar on Steam <laughs> when THQ went under. Yeah. At a sweet sale, and I took uh, advantage yeah. of it. And, Thank uh, got God the first that two. Uh, THQ got saved. Uh, I guess, but yeah. THQ Nordic. Yeah. Um, you mean bot? <laughs> Nor- no, Nordic bought THQ. Right, I mean, yeah. they were bought. Yeah, they, they were, were saved. Bought. I wouldn't call that They were saved. Vigil Games wasn't saved. They, uh, <laughs> yeah. they died, unfortunately. But yeah. But they still have the IP, and I guess uh, Devil May- I mean, not Devil May Cry. Uh, Darksiders Three is in development, so hopefully something at E three will show up. Sounds like you guys need to. Is Darksiders Two kind of the big one? Is that one the more popular I one? I feel like it is. It's more action RPG than and than uh, Darksiders. Like the gameplay in Darksiders Two is definitely more unique. Um, than just like a combination of God of War and Legend of Zelda um, that Dar- that Darksiders was. Um, it's more action RPG. You can still do the combos and everything, but you still get like, uh, you can get weapon upgrades, armor upgrades that help you do certain things, like get combos, get more souls, do whatever. Um, it's, it's definitely uh, probably the bigger game, I think. All right. Okay, well, I think that, uh, what do you think? That's about it for our... Nude Clan. Guys, uh, make sure you go to uh, 
twitch.tv slash new clan gaming so please play the games live and go to facebook.com slash nude clan podcast it's new spelled n-e-w-d you can go to nude clan.net which is our website check out all of our shows there and um uh you can also support us on patreon yeah, and thank you, you to us. Reathemus, our most recent pledge on Patreon this week. Thanks <laughs> thank a lot, you. man. You'll be put into the drawing for a game of your choice. Yes. I need oh, to speaking put a, of the game of the choice, I'm putting in my copy of Tales of Zestria for that. Your copy of Tales of Zestria? My copy, okay, yes. Right. Your copy, not my copy? My copy, yeah. Not Joe's copy or my copy. <laughs> yeah, but my copy, yes. <laughs> okay. Because we had to clarify. All right, okay. Yeah. I, was like, I already, I already, I already <laughs> beat it, and I don't think I'm going to play it again. So okay. okay, all right, yeah. So wait, when did you beat that? Last last year, year yeah. Uh, I, I can throw. It was like it. halfway through last year. I can year. throw in my copy of Dark Siders as well. I got, oh. <laughs> I got a bunch. I got a bunch of copies of a bunch of games uh, on the uh, grab bag. Yeah, I'm going to put a link a link to that document on the Patreon page, so all you guys who are donating can see what games are eligible, and then like just random shit. Also, Joe has like a. <laughs> Uh, Final Fantasy 10 2.5 the novel book in, in <laughs> Japanese. Japanese so uh, you know <laughs> well I got it as a collector's item and then I decided I wasn't going to collect shit anymore yeah so so it's pretty cool I would be interested in it if I could read Japanese could read Japanese yeah, and if too. I cared and I don't. there's a lot, a lot of kanji in there <laughs> and if yeah. you care yeah. two if things I, it would be kind <laughs> of important well I mean 10 2 would have to be riveting enough for me to give a fuck what happens after it so it's 10 2.5 well, yeah we have to get through yeah. in Ultima Final Fantasy we have to get through the seven stories uh, before moving on to other shit so then we'll then we'll move on to the 10 2.5 and the the 10 audiobook thing yeah so there's a 10 got, audiobook yeah. yeah it's the sequel to 10 2.5 yep which might 10 well. 2.6 yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the patch updates just, to just final fantasy 10. 10 2 3 already 10 2 3 <laughs> 10 3 uh okay uh you can tweet me at joseph Egoye. Me at Obsidian Bar. Me at Nude Clan Cam. Me at UFF Podcast. And, um, but, oh, we have our stickers, by the way, for the Patreon. Donors. Yes, we'll be sending those out. And if anybody wants to just it. sticker the fuck out of uh, their town, we have like a thousand of each of our stickers. And if you guys want to yeah. promote us, uh, let's, let's we'll be clear here. You. The people who get the sticker for Patreon, you're getting a much bigger sticker. Yeah. Uh, like four plus four. some of the little ones. But seriously, tweet me. Like, you can message me your address via Twitter or via contact page or whatever. I'll just put, uh, just tell me how many you want. And you, you, have, you just got to promise to put them fucking ever, like, ever, where they will be seen by people. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be like one of those old uh, 90s yeah, intelligent like public bathrooms. Put, put them in places where you think that uh, people will be interested in it. Like you Yeah, know. like smoke shops <laughs> on your dong. <laughs> yeah. Basically where where the dredges <laughs> of society. Kindergarten is not, not a place to put them. Dude, if we can get them young, have <laughs> they'll be nudies for life. Uh, Come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't like that sense. <laughs> nudies. Oh, man. That's, that's I, terrible. Uh, don't don't call our people that. I think that's what they wanted to be called. Uh, nudies is fine. It's just don't say start them young. <laughs> <laughs> start them young, nudies. Uh, Cigarette company. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, though, if you want a sticker your town, you got to let me know how many stickers. Max of, I don't know. Maybe not a max because it's fucking awesome. But And uh, yeah, the, the the pictures you take of where you placed them, uh, I would appreciate that as well. So I would say, like, I don't know, we'll have to come up with a hashtag or something, but uh, I'll let you know if you give me your address or give Schweiss your address and we'll figure it out. Yeah. Um, I'm excited to do some uh, stickering. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Then why does that sound dirty coming from you? It shouldn't, but <laughs> I just meant it as placing stickers in places where... Kind of like stickers a sticker shouldn't be. Kind of like a band, you know. If you got a band and you want to advertise your band, you put the stickers up and the posters up, man. That's yeah. what you do with your band. Okay. 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 All right. I'll. Uh, oh yeah. Ultimate Final Fantasy Godzilla podcast. Super sexy. Oh, Sing those other things action. that we do. No, you know? Those other things. We. Yeah, oh, this is fucking we. Sometimes you yeah. do Ultima. Yeah. True. Sometimes. That's why I said we. Oh. We'll see you guys next week. Enjoy the nude. May the list go on. Live always in the nude. Fuck off. (laughs) 
Okay, Caleb Craig. So I was um, I was thinking this morning about our relationship, uh-huh. and I was thinking of a good song that could really sum it all up. You know this this thing between you and me. And uh, okay, I never heard this song before, but I found it and memorized it this morning. And uh, I just want to, you know, let's get it started. Oh, not that song. Just kidding. <laughs> that's, a, that's an entirely different song. That's a different song. I don't know what song that was. That's weird. Let's see if I can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can you feel it? You can feel the mood. I can feel it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I just figured I'd sing this song for you. Okay. But you can sing along if you want to. Oh, wow. <laughs> Basically, you know, it pretty much sums up how I feel. Okay. Okay. I feel the same. 